estamos aqui com o Joe, que é italiano, Joe Capigiani, está lançando A Siambra, que é um dos filmes selecionados para a Itália para concorrer ao Oscar 2018. Hi, Joe. Hello. Hi. Well, let's talk about uh, A Siambra. <risos> I want to know how do you get involved with names like Martin Scorsese, who is one of the producers, and the, the Brazilian producer Rodrigo Teixeira? Um, so I met Rodrigo Teixeira when. Um, Here we were, in Brazil? No, we were, we were, I don't remember where we were. I think we were in Cannes at the time. And it was when my first film had come out called Mediterranean. Mediterranean. And he had seen the film and he had liked it. Um, and so he, Lorenzo, Santana, and Sophie Mas, the three of them um, read the first draft of Achambra, the script. And they had just started this fund with um, Martin Scorsese. So it was Artsy Features and Sicilia um, for emerging directors. So they brought the script to Martin Scorsese. He immediately said that he wanted to be part of it. You know, when we were in Italy, obviously where we shoot, it's a very particular place. So they came down to see what we were doing because it's a very strange town. There's, there's no infrastructure of cinema there. It's something that we've created ourselves. How was to direct a scene getting Martin Scorsese in the same set as you? Luckily, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> he was, he was, um, he was in America most of the time. He became most involved creatively once he saw cuts of the film. Oh, okay. So we During started sending, yeah, editing. editing. Yeah. So we, you know, me, my editor and I, my editor is Brazilian from Sao Paulo. Yeah. How's your name? Uh, Alfonso Gonzalez. Alfonso Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah. And he, um, and he and I would send cuts to him after it was in a good place. You know what I mean? We don't, we didn't, we didn't send Mar Scorsese our first cut. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> You know, it's to me, you know, I always, when I'm going to make a film, to me the most important thing is to feel very attached to somebody who's from the community we're making it from. The more I experience his life with him, the more I felt um, confident telling the story and letting it take the direction it takes. The film ends and it starts the names of the credits and all they have is the last surname, the same. Uh, it's, they're not actors, I guess. No. Yes. Uh, how do you get involved with such people? Please. I got to know them because of Pio. So Pio was the first person, he was nine years old at the time, who became very close to me. You know, we spent a lot of time getting to know each other before we had any idea we were going to make a film together. They're all playing some version of themselves. Yeah. Um, almost everything that they say is something they've said in the past. So I have like a, an idea from the story and it's like an outline and then when I'm coloring it in, I take things that I've heard in our everyday lives together and I write that into the script. So the story she tells in the dinner, you know, like that's something she's actually said before. But they have a, a right script to, to follow? No, because they provide? can't read. They actually are all illiterate. So I wrote the script and then I would sit there with them before each scene and say, do you remember when you said this? You rehearse with them. Yeah, I would, I would rehearse with them and I would remind them of the circumstances when they would say certain lines. And then they would remember that, and then they would say it again. And even before that, you know, it's like I heard this story at the dinner table scene once, okay. right? And I wrote it. But let's get in back a little bit. When you propose to them the, to make a movie about them, about that reality, how did they respond? They were... Well, here's the thing. They, it, I didn't just propose it to them. Like, we had made a short film, so they knew what it was like to make films. They knew what the world was like, so it wasn't scary. Then Mediterranean came out, and the first time any of them have ever gone to the movie theater was to see Mediterranean. And they saw Pio on the big screen, and people were laughing in the scenes where Pio was in, and they understood the point of the movie now. They understood that I wasn't there to judge them. I was just trying to show what life was like there. So when I finally said, hey, do you guys want to do this? But instead of Aiba being the main character, we have Pio be the main character, and they're like, yeah, that's how, let's do that, let's try. Let's see what happens. And how, how it was to decide what was getting in the movie, what who decided to left out? You know, to me, it was to, the most important thing to me was about Pio and navigating the different worlds, right? Because I think that right now in my town, we're in this moment where the social fabric is changing. There's Africans coming in for the first time. There's Calabrians leaving. The gypsy community is very sedentary for a while. So you see this distinct moment in, in, in Calabrese culture, which is different than it's been in the past. And for me, I want to explore that. I want to see what it's like to be a young kid in a Calabria that's not necessarily the same Calabria that your parents grew up in. 
So for me, that was the focus of the film. Well, to, to finish, uh, your previous movie, Mediterranean, was uh, selected for Cannes Film Festival, and a camera was again, and was uh, awarded that. And uh, how was it? How was the, the, the experience to be in Cannes with the movie? Uh, to receive an award, and how was to be selected to represent Italy at the Oscars? Well, being selected to Cannes was already unbelievable. For the award, I didn't believe anything was coming. I was literally on my way home, and then Rodrigo and Lorenzo, the Brazilian producer, was like, we should stay here another night. <laughs> and we then, stayed another <laughs> night, and we just went crazy. We, we stayed out all night till the sun rose. When we finally won the award, it was like, okay, this was all worth it. <laughs> It was a great. Okay, Joe, thank you very much thank for you, this I appreciate conversation. It. Thank you for your movie thank and you. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.